Preserve Paw Targets with Mr. Blue. So I'm already using the hand targets that he knows. Oh, oh, there you go. Good job. brand new game for blue so I'm going with any part of his paw on any object. There you go. He's a little too close to me now so I'm going to send him off. Once he gets so close where he's on top of me trying to get the tree I can't really work with him. Touched it, so I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. Too close, back up. There, oh, yes! Oh, you had it, yes, perfect! Good boy! It's been really hard for him, so give him an extra treat when he gets it. Oh, oh you moved that one. Pop, you try to pop, dear. Come on. Back up, right there, yes! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's a little bit harder for him, and if I do it totally quiet, he stops crying. He stops, that needs a lot of just praise. And treats. Yeah, you hit that one, sorry. Why noises outside? See that? Oh, we lost focus. And because I lost his focus, I'm going to make it easy instead of asking him to get on one that's harder for him. As soon as I get his focus back. Yeah. So this bigger one is slightly higher, is just easier for him. And it's the smaller, lower ones that are hard. Because he does know paws off a little bit. He's saying that noise outside is too distracting. And that's why I've got his rubber down front that are making extra noises. So the owner is wanting me to work on focus around distractions a little bit, so I'm going to try to pull him back. And we'll come back and play. Yeah. I'm just telling you, you want to go outside and see that distraction. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. It was really just a truck moving by and there's not much to see, but we're going to go out and look. <laughs> 